Alright, what up, what up, people? What's going on? What's popping? Let me make sure this green light is on to let me know this shit is working good. Alright, so what's going on, people? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, today's show, um, I want to apologize for, for all the people who are going to get mad and upset about what I'm about to say on today's show because sometimes what happens is is that when you um when you say you know some 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 shit that's real and it fucks with your reality you get upset and you get pissed off but it's it's okay because that's like you know a sign that you're 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 waking up or it's just a sign that you're gonna continue to do the nonsense <laughs> and just ignore it and you're just pissed off that you know, the truth is being spoken. But anyway, what up? 10 p.m. was popping. Got Juice was going on. Shaku was good. So before we get into any, everything, uh, make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, the ebook, hard copy, audiobook. Make that happen. Click the link below and get that shit popping, okay? So if you get the hard copy, remember I autograph it for you and I send it to you. You feel what I'm saying? So who we got in the chat room? We got Johnny Quest. What up? Robert Roger was good. You from Houston? That's what's up. Daquan, Nike Zoom Flight, Jermaine Jones, Tim Perry, Richard Tyler was good. So today's show is, is, is titled Women Are Not Attracted to Your Money. And here's why. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'm about to go in. So so Again, like I said, some dudes is going to get upset because some dudes thought that they were just going to get their paper up and that was going to be it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you. Okay, I didn't want to be the one to do this, but since since either other people don't understand this game or, you know, they don't want to tell you what the what the, the real is. What happened? I'm going to have some money. But, you know, they don't want to tell you what the real is. You know, I gotta, I gotta let you know what it is. So, what are we talking about when, when we say women aren't attracted to your money? Because you're like, come on, Mister Locario, this is, this is bullshit. Now, come on, son. Come on, son. First, you're talking about the looks. Now you're talking about the money. Next, you're gonna say women don't care about your status. Like you're, you're, you're going after the LMS. You can't do this. You can't, Mister Locario. This is not right. This is fucked up. You understand? Ill Wills was going on. Jermaine Jones was popping. Jay was going on. You said it's hilarious how Lucario hides his girl. Exactly. Cause I cause y'all niggas is trolls out here. <laughs> so that's that's the reason. You feel what I'm saying? But let's get to the topic though. Why women aren't attracted to your money. Now, what you got to understand is this. Is that, you know, what happens is, and the reason why I came up with this topic is because, you know, I've noticed a lot of guys when they flirt with girls and they try to get, um, you know, shit popping with women. They're trying to lead with their money. Meaning they're trying to impress the girl by telling her, oh, I got this going on, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm in finance, you know, I'm doing all of this. My, my company made this much a year, you know, I just got me this new Bentley. I'm, do you know, all this other goofy shit, right? So this is how these guys are flirting or trying to holler at these chicks. So they're they're trying to display how much money they got um, by saying this type of shit. Like I've seen guys who actually be at the bar and and they pull out a stack of money in front of the chick. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Just to impress her. Right? What you have to understand is, is that women are not attracted to your money. And it's funny because I've even had guys say, you know, that they try to sort of impress the girl with their money and then the women aren't really gravitating to it. And they're, they're confused. You understand? Like, I've had, you know, I've been in discussions where it's me and um, a few other guys and some women, 
And the women, the women will say that they get turned off when a guy is talking about his money or trying to impress them with the money. So now why is this? Now the reason why these women are turned off is because women are not attracted to your money. See, what you got to understand is what is money? Let's talk about what, 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 what is the actual money? See, <clears throat> the money, Jesse, you're right. I'm going I'm to I'm get to that in a second. The money is just a symbolic representation of value. All right, I'm going to say that again. The money is a symbolic representation of value, of part of the value that you may be bringing to the table. Right? But the money isn't the actual value. I'm going to say that again. The money is a symbolic representation of value. Right? But it is not the value. So when you're trying to lead with money, when you're flirting with women, this is why they get turned off. You understand? Because you're not doing what you need to do in order to create a situation where she's attracted to you. What you're doing is, is that you are trying to get her attracted, you understand, by flashing out money. You understand? So what, So this is what you got to understand. And, and let me put it in, in, in these terms so you can sort of understand what's going on, right? Let's say that you were, you were hungry, right? You were hungry and be chilling in my crib. And you say, yo, I want to, you know, you want some food, right? So now I'll go into my, let's say I have a, a dresser drawer with a whole bunch of menus for restaurants, right? Now, you're looking at the menu. What is the menu? The menu is a symbolic representation of the food, Right? But you're, you can't eat the menu. I mean, you can if you want to try, but you're not going to eat the menu. What you're going to eat is the food. So the food is actually the important thing, not the menu. The menu is a symbolic representation of the food. The money is a symbolic representation of your value. You understand what I'm saying? So when you try to lead with trying to impress chicks with uh, talking about your money and how much money you have, the reason why it turns them off is because it's almost like you saying in the, you know, when I'm using an example of the food, that's like me telling you to eat the menu. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what the girl actually is interested in when it comes to you as a man is the characteristics that bring out that value. Johnny Quest, you say you disagree, Mr. Lucario. If it depends on a chick, if a chick is looking for a come up, um, if that money talks, she is going to listen. However, it is is good financially, then money is not going to matter. And and I'm glad you I'm glad you put that out there because that's going to be my next point to 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 further illustrate. Because remember, I'm talking about women are not attracted to your money, right? And just like you said, Johnny Quest, you said if a chick is looking for a come up then that money is talking and she's going to listen. Her looking for a come up does not mean she's attracted to you. You understand that she's not attracted to you if she's looking for a come up. You understand what I'm saying? So what you, gotta, you guys got to understand is this, is that there's probably like what? Only two reasons why a chick even wants your money or why she's actually dealing with you for money. One is she's a gold digger. So she wants her money for, you know, those purposes. Right? Now, two, she wants your money because she wants to be able to settle down with you and have those resources there. You understand? But within those two examples, that's still not her being attracted to you or attracted to the money. She's not really into you. She's into just using you for the money for whatever she needs that for. So if she's a gold digger. She may want the, um, hold on. Is this, is this thing? Let me find out this shit is all disconnected. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure you guys can see me. 
Let me make sure you guys can see me. All right, let me see. All right, I think y'all guys can see me. All right. So you guys can see me good? Everything's working good? Press, press one in the chat if you guys can see me and everything is working good. All right? All right, everything's good. Now, what you got to understand is when it comes to money, women... All right, cool. So we good. So what you got to understand is this, right? Women are going to be attracted to you based off of them being sexually attracted to you. Okay? I'm going to say that again. The main thing that women are attracted to is how sexually attracted to you she is. This is why when I tell you when I tell you guys when you talk to women um you want to build sexual tension. You want to flirt with her and get in that sexual energy, right? That's what she's attracted to. When it comes to money, women settle for that. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Women are attracted to you sexually. They settle for your money. You say, I was Jamaica. Jamaica was cool as I. You got to check the, 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 the uh, live stream I did with Miles when we was in Jamaica. So a lot of times when dudes are getting chicks or tricking or doing all this other stuff, it's not that these women are attracted to them. They're settling for them because they have money. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what you guys got to understand. So the thing is the gold digger, she's dealing with you and she's throwing around the promise of pussy because she wants to get some money out of you so that she can, you know, buy her some clothes, do whatever the fuck she want to do with it. You understand? Now, the woman who's settling down with you as far as being in a relationship and wanting to have babies and a family... She wants your money so that she has those resources to actually use for the baby and for herself or whatever it is. But that doesn't mean she's attracted to you. She's just settling for that because that's what you can do for her at that moment. This is why you have women who are, you ever, you ever notice, and I talked about this before, you ever notice how when there's certain guys who are married, um, you hear them say, oh, you know, I only have sex like once a month or, you know, we hardly ever have sex. Why do you think that is? Because she's not sexually attracted to him. She just married him for his resources, for that money. So the money part of it is part of the value, but she's not sexually attracted to him. She's not really attracted to the guy he is. See, what most women want, this is what they want. They want a guy who they're sexually attracted to who also has money. You understand what I'm saying? They want a guy they're sexually attracted to who also has resources. But what happens is, is that some women, they will settle for a guy who just has resources. This is why guys will, you know, end up um, getting chicks because they have money. It's not that the women are into them. The women are, are dealing with them because they have the resources. And then they may say, well, I'll give them some pussy here and there or once in a blue moon to keep the shit going. You understand? So you got to understand that, that that's, that's what's going on out here. So when dudes be like, oh, you got to get money and you got to get your money up, chicks are just settling for that type of shit. When it comes to money, it's a settle thing. This is why, you know, you can have chicks who will be in a, a sugar, uh, they'll get some sugar daddies and stuff. They're not attracted to these guys. They're only putting up with these guys because they have money. You understand? It's kind of like this. It's like when you, when, you, when you guys are at the club or at the bar and you see that girl who's a 10, you want the 10. But by the end of the night, if you can't get her, you'll settle for the six, but you really want the 10. So women really want the 10, but they'll settle for the guy who has money. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what this is what you guys have to understand. And this is why I'm saying that women are not attracted to your money. You 
You feel what I'm saying? Daquan, you said, do you feel like women have sex with women we have sex with is based off pure luck? Is it pre already predestined? <laughs> no. You can create the situation to happen for to happen for you. You understand what I'm saying? But this is what this is what you guys gotta understand, man. These women, they're they're not they're not attracted to your money, man. This is what guys don't understand. They're they're only um attracted to the in the sense of how it could benefit them as far as the resources go. But they're not really into you. You see what I'm saying? So again, the chick she wants, that sexually attractive alpha male who also has money, because you know why? The money is a bonus. It's like, oh, I got with this guy who I'm sexually attracted to, who I have a desire for, who I actually want to be with, and he has money. You understand what I'm saying? This is why you can have dudes who ain't got two nickels to rub together fucking a whole bunch of chicks. You understand? Because these chicks are sexually attracted to them. They don't need for that guy to have money in order to fuck them. Johnny Quincy says, so what happens when a chick tries to get money out of you and then when they can't, they don't really want to talk to you? Because that's because they're not feeling you. That's exactly my point. They wasn't really feeling you. They just wanted your money. You feel what I'm saying? You said, would I give the same advice to a 25 to 30 year old? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? You said you thought looks was a bonus. Looks is can also be a bonus too. You understand what I'm saying? See, what you guys got to understand, this is what I'm talking about with... with with value 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 can be a lot of different things you understand what i'm saying so if a chick is sexually attracted to you and she desires you sexually she finds value in you sexually if a chick sees that you have a lot of money right she can value that you have that a lot of money what i'm talking about is is that that part of the value when it comes to you having money it's not her it's not the same thing as her being sexually attracted to you because a lot of dudes they say oh when you get your money up that's when chicks is going to want to fuck with you and want to have sex with you and want to be with you no they're these chicks will have sex with you in exchange for your resources but they're only having sex with you because they feel like well i'm going to give him as much as i you know i'm trying to get as much resources as i can or without with with giving him the least amount of sex this is why again when i said you have these married guys out here who are only having sex once a month once a month with their wives. You understand? This is why you see those these beta males out here with a hot ass wife. Because she knew oh, I could grab this dude who has all this money and resources and use him for that. And to take care of my kids from the other guy who fucked me and left. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I just want guys to understand why women would deal with you because you have money and the reasoning, you know, why dudes, they think, oh, well, if I get my money, because there's this illusion that the money is, is making you attractive. But the only reason why she's dealing with you is because she's using you for the money. And then she's trying to, if she can... Uh, be able to get as much money or resources or whatever without having to give you too much shit. Because some girls, they know, okay, I'm going to have to fuck this guy maybe once or twice to keep him around so he can give me more money. But then you have guys who they're sexually attracted to who they will fuck and suck every goddamn day without these dudes giving them shit. You feel what I'm saying? And this is what you guys got to understand. This is why I always laugh when I, when I see guys say, oh, you know, as soon as I get my money up, I'm going to get these girls. As soon as I get a bunch of, a bunch of paper, 
then the chicks is going to be flocking. And I'm just like, yeah, you're going to have some gold diggers trying to trying to holler at you, game you to get to get as much money out you uh, before they even fuck with you on some sex shit. Or you're going to get some chick who's going to know that you're a beta male and get you to wife her up and do all this other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Why does this chat keep unconnecting? This is ridiculous. Okay, it's still connected, I think. But let me um let me put the uh the number out here. So if you guys want to call in, 646, hold on. 646-481-3901. What I'm saying? But yeah, it, it's it's fucking crazy. How dudes don't understand, you know, the shit that's going on. Let's see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hey, we call you. What's really good, bro? What's popping? What's going on? Who's this? Who's this? You know I had to call up and talk shit again. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I know what it is. Go ahead. What's going on, bro? Yeah, nah, I just want to um add on to that. You know, the last chat I, yeah, I talked about, but um, I mean, you were at the end of the day, you know um, females are naturally attracted to guys who are attractive, like, you know, they game all that good shit. Mm -hmm. But, um, and, but, 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 really true, like I mentioned the last time, because society, social media, and all that good stuff, you know, most, I mean, guys believe that females are into money. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like this, like, um, well, when you see a female who's attractive, you automatically think she wants a guy who look good. She wants a guy who got money. Mm. That's every. I mean, I thought. I think every. I, I thought that since I was a kid. I mean, I still do to the day. Because mm -hmm. most females want to. Most women who are attractive, they want a man who's on their level. Mm. For the most part. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And me as a man, you know, if I'm a good looking guy, I want a girl who look good too. Mm -hmm. But if I got money, I want a girl who got money too. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and the same thing with females. Like, you know, um, when when females see a guy who looks good, they think you're automatically a player. Mm. So it's like all about assumption. And like I said, in most cases that's true. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But um, but I'm not gonna be here long. I gotta, I gotta get up in the morning. But <laughs> but I, the thing I wanted to say is that um, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of guys don't feel confident because they don't have no money. Right, right, right. You know what I'm <laughs> and which is true because you know I'm from the bottom of the struggle. You know I've right. been homeless before. I already told you before I was homeless. Mm. I, I was fucked up. I was you know all kinds of shit. I'm not gonna go into. But you know, but at the end of the day, it's like. When I was, just like this, being, when I was a kid, I didn't really need, I don't care about money. Mm. When I was 18, like I said, I had my first girlfriend at 18, I had my second girlfriend at 22, so I was a kid, I didn't really need no damn money, because she's a young kid, but as I got older, mm. like, when I hit 24, I became homeless and all that stuff, and shit hit the fan. Right. So as a man, especially as a black man in this country, you have to, you know, you have to have your money right, like, mm. every uh, that's why I listen to a lot of like um, brothers who was um, self-made. I got I know people who are twenty two years old who got their own business, not mm. business, but I know a lot of young brothers who are out here getting money. Right, Legally, right. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, you know, a young nigga in this country, you have to get your paper. That's not even a question. You have to get it. Mm. Like, it's not even no up, up for debate. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then the thing is that um, you know, what I was gonna say I forgot. Oh, um, you know, back to the other hand, when I was. A, Young, when I had my girlfriend, I didn't need any money. I was young. Mm -hmm. But when you're old, you have responsibility. You got bills to pay. You got rent. You got more shit to take care of. So, mm -hmm. you you know, money is an issue as you get older. Right. Just, that, that's not even the question. And now, we get with women, of course, you can be a grown man to be broken and fuck a bing, uh, and, 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 you know, and fuck bitches. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what type of female you want to be fucking with? Mm -hmm. Well, well see, that, see, that's the thing, though. This is the thing that guys are going to understand is that, see, again, like I was saying earlier, the money is a, a, a physical rep. It's, it's a symbolic representation of the value that you may bring. Meaning that, let's say, for example, if if you um, are a guy who's a hard worker, right? right. You get yeah. money for that hard work. But what the woman is actually attracted to is the fact that you're the hard worker, not necessarily just your money. You see what I'm saying? Because you can have you can have two guys who both have money. But let's say one guy is lazy. One guy, let's say he, uh, that same guy, you know, he just gets money from his, his pops because his pops own some shit or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got the second guy who's a hard worker. What happens is, is that if both of those guys lose their money, the guy who's a hard worker can get the money back. 
So what happens is the woman is more attracted to the characteristics of the guy who's the hard worker versus the other guy who just had the money because his pops gave him the money. You see what I'm saying? So even though they both have money, the, 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 the guy who's working hard, his characteristics is going to be more attractive to the woman because she sees that he knows how to handle themselves in those situations. So just in case she gets with him in a situation where they can, you know, get she gets pregnant or whatever it is then she's going to want him more versus the guy who just has the money and he doesn't have that energy towards him. This is why you have a lot of guys who have money who still can't get women because they have the characteristics of a man who doesn't know how to go get his shit or who, do, who doesn't have that go-getter attitude. And this is what wow, I was saying with the value. The value is the, the, what, what women are attracted to is the value. The money is just the symbolic representation of it. So a lot of times when women see men with a lot of money, what happens is, is on a surface level, it's like, oh, he has a lot of money, so that must mean he's bringing a lot of value. That must bring, mean he has something going for him so that if I do decide, hey, I can you know, be with this guy for long term or whatever it is, then I feel like I'm set if I want to settle down. You see what I'm saying? And so that's mm-hmm. the thing that guys going to understand. Guys just think, oh, well, as soon as I get my paper, as soon as I get money, that's the end all be all. But what, what the chick is really looking at and looking for, do you have those characteristics of a guy who she sees as attractive overall in the long run if she's going to deal with you in that manner? You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's exactly. what it is. Um, right. And, and there's something else I, I want to add to that uh, real quick. Um, you know, me being able to know that um, at the end of the day, like me personally, I'm going to use my personal experience at it all the whole time. When I, when I went from being homeless to having, well, I wasn't really on top of my game. Mm. But when I had a job, mm. I had money. I can afford to go out to the bar or club mm. to meet more women. So it's like mm. you have more money. You have it's like you with the bad boy membership. Mm. You have YouTube. You can watch free YouTube videos and get mm. ass. You know, just fucking to your videos on YouTube for free. Mm. You right. have bad boy membership. You can get you get more access to more game. Mm. So like you have more money. You have more access to mm. more shit. Right. Versus if you broke. But you only want to go fuck broke bitch. You're not going well, some women do, but for the most part, a female who has a life together is not going to fuck no broke nigga. Oh, of unless course she, she is. No, 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 no. See, that's the... Unless, see, that's the, unless he's tearing that pussy up. That, but see, that's the... See, that's, see, that's the misconception. See, that's the thing. A, 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 a broke dude, you understand what I'm saying? Can get a chick who has a lot going for herself. This is why dudes... Um, you know, end up getting chicks to buy them cars and give them a lot of money, and they be they be sleeping up in these women's houses because these guys, what they're doing at first, and this is what I was talking about earlier, they're they're starting off from the the, the that that um that essence of the man and the woman being sexually attracted to each other. Because remember, the the point of men and women even getting together is to procreate. You understand to bring right. a f- other life into the into the situation. After yeah. that. You understand what I'm saying? Then it becomes okay. How do you know? How do we uh, 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 like you know take care of this baby? Whatever. So women are looking at those things too. But at first, on a biological level, she's looking at who she who has those genes that she wants to reproduce with. You see what I'm saying? And so a lot of times when men display qualities that are sexually attractive, you understand what I'm saying? That's what makes the women jump on them. This is why you have all these broke dudes fucking with chicks from all spectrums chicks who who are broke chicks who got money chicks who got you know vice presidents of companies and all this other shit because they they understand what it means to actually get a woman sexually attracted to them you see what i'm saying no, yeah, that's what right, i'm saying right. but but i'm saying a, a female who has common sense knows mm. she's not gonna fuck with this nigga for only a certain amount of time because she ain't trying to fuck with no broke nigga i don't want to fuck with a broke bitch mm. it's a turn off right like, right um, but, but see what but you see, told me and in real talk, mm. money makes you more attractive, you male said, and female. You said money. You said money makes you more attractive. Male to male and female. Let me tell you why. Mm. All right. Um, you see, you got a female who's attractive, right? Mm. She got a nice face, nice body, but she has a uh, you know she don't got no job. Mm. I'm gonna fuck her, but mm. I'm not gonna fuck with her because mm. I know as a grown man I can't fuck on no rope. But she had nothing to bring to the table besides some pussy that mm. other niggas and ran through already. Mm. A female with common sense, most female with common sense, so you know the guy who look good, he got a tight game, he's he good in bed, whatever. Mm. She's gonna fuck him because he's gonna beat it up, but mm. she's not gonna fuck with him for long because he can't do nothing but bring dick. Right, but see that you're you're saying exactly what I said. This is this is exactly what I'm saying. You basically said that she will fuck him 
And why is she fucking him? Because she's attracted to him. You see what I'm saying? And this this had nothing to do with the money. You see what I'm saying? Now, if mm-hmm. you now if she wants more than that, if she wants to, you know, uh, spend time with him, build a family with him, then yeah, the money is going to come into to to play. But the money isn't what she's attracted to. You see what I'm saying? That's just the th- that's just the technical part of it. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And this is why I was saying before, women will actually get in a relationship with a guy they're not that attracted to because he has money, because he can take care of her kids and all this other stuff, which, and then, then that guy ends up only having sex with her, you know, uh, on a, on rare occasions. And then she ends up like cheating on this dude with the guy who she's actually sexually attracted to. You see what I'm saying? And so that's what I'm saying. The money is always used as, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, an application of of just using resource. You see what I'm saying? Right. And also resource resources also aren't just necessarily uh, monetary. Meaning, your a resource could be, let's say, for example, you was messing with a chick, right? And um, you know, you say, oh, you know, I know Mr. Locario, and I got my other boy over here, and I got this other chick that I know, whatever. Because you know so many people, let's say you're the type of guy in your neighborhood or in your circle that you just got connections like crazy. Because you got connections, that's a resource. That has nothing to even do with your money. You see what I'm saying? And women like that because they can. that's something they can use. This is why, because women are very um, um, community oriented. This is why women will go to the bathroom together. You understand what I'm saying? This is why when, mm-hmm. when you, if you ever notice, when you talk to a group of girls and you ask one of them a question or you may try to holler at one of them, all of the girls look at each other to see each other's responses before they actually do something. You see what I mean? So mm-hmm. women are very community mm-hmm. oriented. So that's another resource mm-hmm. where a guy can actually have those connections or whatever it is that women gravitate to because she's like, oh, he's well connected. So that means I'm more connected to the community, which is why she'll fuck with him. You understand what I'm saying? So, but again, mm-hmm. those are add-ons. Those are icings to the cake. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's what right. it is. I, like I said, why have the cake? Just have the, just have this. Like, that's why. Like, that's why I always fuck with niggas all about getting that money, even though we don't need it. Mm-hmm. But get your. That's why it's like. No, get your money for course. yourself. That's what right. I'm saying. Get the right. money for you. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Right. That's what right. dudes need well, to well, understand. All I'm saying is that, and, and I, I've heard a lot of people say, which is true. Mm-hmm. A broke nigga should think about no ass. Mm-hmm. The last thing you think about is ass if you're broke. That's a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. That my mother told me that. My brother told me that. Everybody I know told me that. If you're broke, mm-hmm. don't think about pussy. Get, don't and why? And why? And why? And why? Why is that? Why do you think if you're broke, you shouldn't think about pussy? Because let me explain to you. Women are a distraction. Mm. You already know that. Pussy distracts you. If you ain't having yourself together, I mean, you can still fuck without being having money. But all I'm saying is that, for most me personally, when I didn't have myself together, I couldn't think about ass because I can't focus on something that's not. A, women are not. Women are not a priority to me. Mm. They never were. Because mm. I already had a girlfriend or two when I, before, I, before I was broke. That was because I, I was a kid. Mm. But when you're a grown ass man with no money, you shouldn't think about getting no ass. Mm. That's just me personally. Mm. From my own personal experience, that's how I feel. And most niggas in my hood told me the same shit. Right, right. That's all I'm, no, that's no, all see, I'm this, this is what this is what I, because I, 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 I don't all the way agree with that, though. And I'm going to tell well, you I'm why. Good. Because. The thing is, is that getting ass and getting money are two separate things. You understand right. what I'm saying? What I would say sure. is, if you're getting ass, don't do anything that's going to... Like, for example, like if you're getting ass, don't go get nobody pregnant. You feel what I'm saying? Because then that's yeah, going to fuck your... Sh- you see you what I'm saying? Not, you ain't got no money. You right, exactly. Exactly. So that that's what I... That's what, you see what I'm saying? So don't do that. But what I'm saying is, is that... You don't, you don't, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to first get, cause a lot of dudes, this is what a lot of dudes think. A lot of guys think that they need to first get money and then they can get sex, which is, is false. You, you understand what I'm saying? You can get sex while you get money. Now, the only way women are a distraction is if you are interacting with women in a way where you don't know how to get them and how to manage your time. So they, so therefore they aren't a distraction. You see what I'm saying? So it's not that the women are a distraction. It's only going to distract you distract you if you make it distract you. Because this is the thing. When I was living at home, uh, you know, with my mom, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> when I was fucking 28 years old, you feel what I mean? Mm. I was getting, you know, uh, uh, ass left and right. But what I was also doing 
I was working on my business. You see what I'm saying? But I, I, I did, I had time management. You see what I'm right, saying? Right. And I didn't have no fucking money. Period. Like I remember, I had like ninety dollars in my bank account. You know, usually at all times, like it was like went from ninety to one hundred fifty back to nine. It was like you understand? I didn't have shit. So the thing was, not having the money didn't make it. Uh, it didn't make it hard for me to get women. What it was was, was that I knew how to manage my time to do what I needed to do. So the thing is, if you if you don't want to concentrate, if you don't want to deal with women because dealing with women is a distraction for you, then I would say don't do it. I would say yeah, definitely focus on getting your money, but don't think that uh, you know um, dealing with women because you don't have money is going to distract you from getting money. You see what I'm saying? Because that's that's to me that what it is is that that's more of a cop out excuse as to what guys will say because uh, they don't want to have to deal with dealing with women. Because again, this is what we was talking about with the title of the show. Women aren't attracted to your money. So what difference does it make as far as if you're trying to get a girl if you have the money or not? You see what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you're right. But like I said, me personally, mm. you know, I was so upset. And frustrated right. and annoyed that I didn't want to think about ass because mm. I mean I got ass from once in a blue moon. Right. Like I said, you know me personally, and I think a lot of young niggas in the hood. Well, some niggas are thirsty as hell, and they bro. I understand that. That that's the issue. Mm. But me being a real nigga, I mm. know how it is. Like when you on your bottom, you going through shit. You don't think about nothing but getting right together. Women mm. come last. I'm not even worried about mm. that shit. Now. Right. Right. That's right. All I'm saying. Like. Like, like, some men can do it, some men just can't do it. Me, mm. personally, I couldn't do it because I had so much shit going on. Mm. No, I feel what you're saying, and that's and that's but all, and that's 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 a good thing that you actually know yourself, so you know, like, hey, right. look, I need to make sure I got this shit handled, and then I'm gonna do that shit. But I'm just saying that on from an objective level, you understand? Um, it doesn't necessarily, um, you know, like you don't. It doesn't. It doesn't need to be that way because you don't need to make that happen. And and so the, and the reason why I'm saying this is because what happens is is that it's like this. It's like um, if I said if I said hey you know I'm not gonna go and work out until you know um, I go get like this job. You feel what I'm saying? Until I get a job, a full time job, I'm not gonna work out. So. What's going to happen is, let's say it takes me six months to get a, a full-time job. Then what happens is, I it, it I haven't worked out in six months. So now my body isn't in the shape it could have been because I didn't do it for six months. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing that I'm talking about with game. Because what happens is, dudes, they get their money up. And then they realize, oh shit, I still don't know how to talk to women. I still don't know how to attract women. And then what you what, what happens is, you're in the same spot you were in before. You see what I'm saying? Because again, the money is not going to get you the women, and that's the pro- that's the thing that dudes think. They think, oh well, just because I got the money, that's going to make it easier for me to get the chicks. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I I, I always stress time management because what you want to be able to do just in life in general is multitask. Because this is the thing. Even if you if you let's 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 bring this to business. The people who make the most money in business, they make the most money because. They multitask, meaning that usually they have more than one thing going on at a time. You see what I'm saying? So you have a person who, let's say, works a nine to five and they just go to that nine to five every day and they make, you know, the same amount of money every two weeks and they just focus on a job versus a person who's building a business. And then they build that business. Then they ended up uh, putting money into another business and putting money into another business. Then they doing like two or three things in that first business. And so they have passive income coming from all different angles. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And so so what I'm saying is is that when you when you're when you're able to multitask, what you're able to do is you're able to play on strengths uh on a number of different on a, on a number of different levels. But what but the thing is you still have to again know how to uh know your limits also cuz you still can't do like a million things at once. But the thing yeah, is is right. that you if you neglect any part of whatever you do that you neglect is not going to uh uh, it's not going to be good. So even if a guy, let's say a guy said, look, all I'm going to do is holler at chicks. I would tell him, nigga, don't do, just do that. Holler at chicks and get your money. You feel what I'm saying? And if a dude's telling me, I'm just going to get my money. I ain't going to really fuck with the chicks. I'd be like, my nigga, get your money and holler at the chicks. Because what's going to happen is, is that when you take away one, the other is going to get weak. You see what I'm saying? It's that simple. You see what I mean? That's true. You know what well, I mean? that's it. That's it. I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and 
take it down and I'll just holler at you later on. Bro. That's what's up, bro. I'm holler at you, man. Right. Appreciate the call, bro. All right. All right. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta learn how to balance it out. You got to learn how to balance it out, people. Yeah, what's going on? Yo, what up, Lucario? This seventy plus, man. Back oh in the shit, what's popping? What you been up to, man? Man, I hey man, I saw something where you said you were in Jamaica, right? It's funny. I just came back from Jamaica on Sunday. I think I wrote a comment up under your joint, mm. and um, I was trying to tell you about it or something like that, man. But man, I had a blast. You know, like the way I'm out here hollering at women, man. Mm. I holler at women overseas and mm. i'm gonna go ahead and say something man, i hear a lot of guys about talking about getting your passport and stuff like that right fellas fellas get it but this this is the thing that i kind of don't agree with them on like i do see the difference in like honestly sisters over here versus sisters overseas and mm. american women versus women overseas but this is the thing this is what well, me and those guys are slightly different mm. i do like the women overseas better but the same way I approach women over here in America, mm. I approach the women over there. I'm not going over there going to the host role, mm. paying women. Because, like, when I heard a lot of guys online talking about, man, get your passport, go over there and talk to the women, I noticed most of them I always bring up the host role. They never talk about them genuinely approaching women. So right. I'm looking at it like, okay, so if y'all are going over there, and y'all are basically just interacting with prostitutes. You're not interacting with the everyday women over there. You could have stayed home in your backyard mm -hmm. and interacted with prostitutes, you know what I'm saying, in right, your own city. Right, exactly, you know, exactly. If, if those are the kind of women you were going to go over there and interact with. Now, me, I have, like, now, my complaint is a little bit different because I can honestly look at it because I approach women. I've been with, like, 70-something of them over here. Mm -hmm. And I see the attitudes. I see that the games that a lot of women play in America. And I see the difference when I go overseas because I still approach them over here. Mm -hmm. And I approach women over there. But I'm not approaching prostitutes. I'm approaching, like, women that are from there that just walk into the market or they on the beach and they chilling. And we exchange information. Like, okay, like, I'm going to tell you something different that I do. Like, over here in America, mm -hmm. like, women play a lot of games, right? So... Like I said, I told guys to give women your number. Over here, I give sisters my number or whatever because I know they, they play a lot of bullshit games. Mm -hmm. But when I'm over there, the, the one thing I kind of notice, at least from my experience, I can actually ask a sister in Jamaica or certain other countries mm -hmm. for their number. Now, if they want to give it to you, they're actually going to have a conversation with you. Right. And it's not a lot of games about meeting up and back and forth. A lot of stuff that sisters do over here and, and a lot of women I've seen do things over here. They not really with that. And yes, I did get rejected over there, but mm. it wasn't like how sisters would do it over here. It's, it's, it, it is the less attitude. And mm. I ain't gonna lie, man, shit. I, I kind of got turned out on it because the women looked better. Mm. They was more they was more chill. Mm. It wasn't really no games. And the women who rejected me, it was a straight up respectful rejection. It wasn't no passing the number and bullshit around and all that. Everybody who number I got, I smashed them. Everybody who number I got, we mm. had conversation. Hell, they still calling me now. Right. And then, and, and then, and guess what? They didn't ask me for no money. You right. know what I'm saying? They didn't right. ask me for no money or none of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to. I didn't have to buy them anything. I didn't have to give them anything. Right. They just actually wanted to be with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I even smashed one of the hotel chicks that worked at, worked at the hotel that I stayed at. It's funny because she got a boyfriend, and her boyfriend was getting ready to come pick her up. And mm. I told her, I said, "Damn, how this gonna work?" They, I'm going to show y'all how sneaky women are, how smart they are. You know what I'm saying? This one thing I would say, damn, like, American women and them, both of them got this in common. Right. She said, well, look, you're a guest at the hotel. He don't know what's what. I'm walking with you, showing you directions. Mm -hmm. I said, damn, man, she don't came up with something so slick for it. Right. To justify everything. And, and she's at work, so she can cheat within a certain rhythm and not even ever get called or whatever. Right, right, so, right. Yeah, now I just had to bring it to you guys' attention, man. Just keep hollering at women. Like, the thing is, I would tell you guys to do, like, go out. Yes, in America, yes. I ain't going to lie. I went over there. Yes, the women are different. They are a lot different than over here. You know, these women over here play a lot of games and all that, so you really got to have your game up over here for them. But here's the slick thing right with it. You still need to have a certain degree of knowledge in game. And when I say game, I'm talking about knowledge about like if a woman is trying to play you and so on and so forth mm -hmm. and stuff like that because right. if you one of these guys over here that's never hopped off the porch you ain't even approach American women and you're looking at it like okay well I'm not gonna never talk to American women I don't talk to women I'm just gonna wait till I get overseas and I'm just gonna start right. tricking and, and stuff <laughs> like that those women are still play you now exactly. and they may not get you 
like how these American sisters is, you know, they American sisters got a certain way with their ass, but they may not off the rip, but they will still because they so feminine mm. and they act a little, they look a lot better and they act a little bit decent. They will still get you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They will still pick up on the fact that you act corny. Right. And you, and you don't know how to interact with women or mm-hmm. you act like a damn Steve Urkel or some stuff like that. Don't think because they overseas that they can't pick up on that shit now. Right. Right. Real they, shit. They will, they will still pick up on that. So, yes, I tell brothers, yes, go over there. Now, if I had to pick between the sisters overseas and sisters over here, Man, I've already traded the sisters over here out. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm, I'm good to go on that. Right. But the thing is, I took my ability, my skills that I have approaching people. I don't have a problem doing it. I took all that overseas, so I still interact with women over here. Mm-hmm. And when I interact with women over here that's trying to play, it don't matter to me because I don't smash like five. I already don't got my desires out the, out the door. Mm-hmm. I'm like Now, I, when I last called y'all, I said the highest I've been with was an eight. I went to Jamaica. Now I can say I've been with like five tens. <laughs> five. Five. That's what's up. up. <laughs> Shit. No, nah, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's crazy though because a lot of dudes, you know, it's, it's funny because I notice uh, the women out there are a little bit more uh, cooperative generally. You know what I'm saying? But um, but um, but like you said, it, when a woman and this is the thing that guys got to understand. Guys, guys got to understand that um, uh, women. Like, let's say you meet a girl who's 25 years old or something, right? That means uh-huh. she has, like, at least, you know, dudes is probably trying to talk to her since she was, like, 17, 18, whatever it is. So she got years of experience dealing with men. So, like you were saying, they could tell when you the, you the type of dude who's who's corny and don't know what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then so she know, okay, I could probably play this dude, take advantage of him, because she can sense that because she already been through a bunch of dudes like that. So a lot of guys yeah. they think that women aren't gonna tell. This is why I be when I be um, telling guys like, "Yo, don't bother lying and and trying to manipulate chicks or whatever." They've been through all of that. You understand what I'm saying? They they can tell most times when you do that. This is why when you try to you know manipulate a chick or lie to them, you also end up getting played too. Because then that's when they start playing games because they see you playing games. You feel what I'm saying? So they know what to do in order to get back at you before you even get to do what you're trying to do. A lot of times, you see what I'm yeah, saying? So the- so mean, and that's why I was saying, like, a lot of guys, like, look at America as your training, right? In mm-hmm. my opinion on it, from what I've seen from traveling. Or whatever. I ain't going to say other people don't play games, other women don't play games. Right. I think everybody, to a certain degree. I just think over in America, I think, as men and women, I think we play like goddamn the most. So mm-hmm. if you come from over here and you come from any inner city area, the bitches you ran with, like, especially if you don't talk to black women, they ain't bashing them or none of that. Like, right. that's goddamn, look at it, don't look at it so negatively all the time. Look at it as training because if you can walk up to this chick with this bad attitude and hear all this stupid shit that you rarely gonna hear other women say even if they look good mm. and you come up to them with respect and have a normal conversation and you can get past that shit, it's gonna be easy when you go overseas or when you approach, or not even overseas, you approach somebody else and you just having a regular conversation and then like it'll put you in a position where instead of you always looking at yourself like, damn man, I might be fucked up. If you know you fly, you smell good, mm. you keep your hair cut and stuff, you can you can have the ability and the knowledge and look at the women instead of just looking at yourself and you can look at it and say, Well damn, I did a check off list on me. I know everything on point. So mm. you know what? I think it's the kind of women I'm approaching or maybe it's the area where I'm at because before I went to Jamaica, I had got back in a big drought again. And mm. the same way like, I approach women over here, hey, how you doing, keep it cool, come right. collect, nothing extra, nothing silly. I did that over there, and sisters was cool. They was vibing it. They was, they was loving it. I didn't have to say too much. I, I went mm-hmm. mode one and, and the whole nine, mm-hmm. and, and nobody exchanging no funds or nothing, just fun times. And they still calling me, wanting to know when I'm coming back, because I am coming back, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So when you, when you have those interactions, but then, again, like I said, they got to get out there and talk to women over here, because... A lot of you guys hadn't even got out and talked to women over here. So you talking about, man, I'm just going overseas. You ain't even got nothing to compare it to. Like, I got something to compare and contrast. At least I can look at it and be like, you know what? I've I've dealt with a good little amount of American sisters. I come to the conclusion if I'm going to date or whatever it is, Mm. they may not be the best option because I had those experiences. Right. You know what I'm saying? Contrast versus a guy that's just my own bit folded. I'm still scared to talk to that one girl and... And this, I don't have no experiences with women, so mm-hmm. I just want to hop out and go overseas because the thing is, when you hop out and go over there and start tricking, they, 
they still gonna slick treat you like a sucker. They're gonna be nicer about it, mm-hmm. but you still gonna get treated like a sucker. You don't have to go over there and trick. Go over there and have a vacation. Mm-hmm. Work on your social skills here. Mm-hmm. And then when you go over there and you meet them women, right. they'll be like, damn, he's fun to be around. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's, and and it's easier. And you'll get a lot further. And, and it's you'll have easier. something on deck when you come back. So then Hell when you yeah. come back in town, when you don't meet like five or ten women over there, right? Let's say you get out in these streets and you try to hop here. I already got five or six from over there. From when I get ready to come back next time, they hit me up. So if chicks over here ain't calling me, I don't give a fuck. These chicks look better than the chicks over here. Mm-hmm. And they cooperating. So right. and I don't got all my sex off. I don't got my nut off. So I'm good. So anything I do over here, any extra chicks, it's extracurricular. And I ain't so hell bent on them because I ain't missing no conversation. Because mm-hmm. I got work and I got these cooperative ones still hitting me up and they ain't asking me for shit. So right. do it like that. It's more than one way to do it, fellas. I would say work on your game here, but yeah, get your passport. But don't go over there tripping and acting lame. Don't go over <laughs> to talk about the American women treat me bad and all that. Because when right. you say certain things, they're going to be like, oh, I got me one. This is a lame-ass dude from America. The women over there ain't give them none. So let me play into that and play on this lame-ass. Right. So some of you guys got to look at yourself, too. You got to stop doing goofy stuff. Yes, the women over here messed up, but you got to stop doing goofy stuff, too. Mm. And then, hell, shit, if it ain't working out over here, hey, man, hop the fence on their ass. I'll hop the fence on their ass. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Real talk. About. Real talk, man. Real shit. But yo, man... That's some real game you dropping in. And, and guys, you got to take heed to that because, you know, dudes, they, they go overseas just thinking that, you know, oh, well, I'm going to go over here and just just like, you know, just just pay for this and pay for that. And again, you could still make that shit happen, but it's still not the same thing as if you actually have some game about yourself to where you don't got it. You don't have to pay. And when you go over there, yeah. because your game is so tight then it's going to be easier for you to pull chicks over in a lot of these other spots. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a, a real shit. Yo, when when you going to have your own YouTube page, man, you got, you, you playing around, man, when you going to have this new, man, you know, I, I can't, I don't have the knowledge that you got to really get on there. Really nah, just man, give, you like, do. I try you to, do. You got I try to get on here and say, you do, you do. you do, you got to, you got to get your name. I'm, you know, I'm out there actually experiencing it. I ain't got, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't on the level that y'all on the really just big to talk. Like, I still be learning some stuff from you, but it's just mm-hmm. that I identify with things because I've been out there and I've experienced. I'm like, damn, when you talk about the games, the phone games they play, mm-hmm. all this stuff is a rhythm. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff. So, like I said, like, I'm out there meeting them. Right. I meet them. I work in a very busy place out in the ATL, so I flirt, like, literally every day, but... I mean, the way that I, I do things differently, like I even set up a system like for over here in America, and some people may think this is funny, but it's just how I, I get down with it. If I deal with sisters over here, I'm giving them my number or whatever, and I'm, right. and I'm giving them like a Google number. Over there, like I said, we got WhatsApp and all that stuff. It's okay to kind of take theirs because for the most part, what I've seen so far, a lot of women overseas, they don't want to talk to you. Mm. They just not rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? They, mm. you, you're going to kind of know it, so if you got a number, she mm. at least she at least trying to deal with you, or at least trying to see what's up with a relationship, unless he's trying to play you. But then that's where that knowledge is going to come back in mm. from the experience you got here. Right, right. If you are goofy here and you just, and you don't know nothing and you green as hell, you never interacted with women here, you go over there, you're just going to be so happy a woman interacting. When she be like, hey, can you send me $10 and 20 You're going to be like, well, that ain't nothing. I'll do it. Exactly. And you know, you, you, you about a whole lot of money for nothing and she just got you. Only thing she did was blow you a kiss and you know mm, what I'm saying she, right. just, she just got you like that because you were so desperate and you didn't have no game but the one thing I can say I'm gonna give American women credit for if anybody ever dealt with them like the games that they, they play with the phone and all that and just interacting with them and stuff mm-hmm. nobody else does it as much as they do it over here so you've been through this stuff so you'll see patterns so when you go over there and a sister try to say something Okay, you'd be like, man, that shit weak as hell. Cause I was looking at one of them mm-hmm. trying to, but I was like, that shit weak as hell. Sisters back home go harder with their plan and they little dumb shit. Right, and right, I, I don't right. seen it, so they don't even play as much. And then it'd be kind of to me, it's a little weak because I don't seen it. Right, they and you know what it is. Up. You know what it is. It's kind of like it's yeah. kind of like when they say, you know, they say, you know, if you if you can make it, you know, uh, in New York or some shit, you can make it anywhere. It's the same thing. Like if you could, if your game is heavy. In America, you feel what I'm saying? If you go to yeah. any other spot, you be good. You feel what I'm saying? 
So female pimps there only because I'm from America, <laughs> not because they like me. <laughs> but that is that that gives you that edge too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey female pimp, I, I guess I guess they should like they should ask me for some money because I'm from America too. That'll That's give you that. That'll give you that edge, man. I'm telling you. They were talking to me. That'll give you that edge, bro. You feel me? But yo, listen, I got a few yep. more people trying to get the hell up in here because they they calling like crazy. All right, let me get up out here. But yo, man, I appreciate I appreciate the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you you got to get that YouTube channel, bro. Okay, I, I gotta. I, I, I shit need... gotta happen. <laughs> right? All right, bro. All right, man. I'm all at you. All right. all right, peace, peace. Hold on, I gotta turn on this fucking fan. It's fucking hot. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna turn this shit on. Shit. Shit is hot as hell up in here. God damn. It's fucking hot as a motherfucker. Woo! Alright, so you guys can call back. I seen some people trying to call in. 646-481-3901. You feel me? I'm not gonna be on here too long tonight, but you know. But call number 646-481-3901. But yeah, man, if you guys, you know, if you got that game here, this shit gonna be easier, you know, other places. Shout out to Humble Wolf in the chat. What's going on, bruh? Of course, we got in Nathan Wong. Shout out to you. Haul this junk. Shout out to you. What's popping? Man. You said, Poti, you said you work at a store and a lot of attractive women come through. You want to talk to them, but at the same time, you don't want to risk being fired for making a move. Um, well, this is the thing, man, you know, if you work in that store, um, and, you know, chicks is coming through, whatever, you understand what I'm saying? The thing is, is that, see, there's a difference, like, if you, if you got a, a store situation, and uh, a chick is on that, you know, a chick comes through, what you might want to do is something like, um, you know, get her Instagram, go real super indirect with that shit. And then holler at her later through the Instagram and all of that. You understand what I'm saying? So you could, you know, say a little something to her like, oh, that's a, you know, a nice dress you got on. And, oh, do you, you know, are you into fashion? All that goofy shit. And you'd be like, listen, you got an Instagram? What's the Instagram? I'm trying to get my Instagram followers up. Let's follow each other or whatever. That's it, you know. And then you hit her up, you know, afterwards. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, you got to be, you got to be uh, uh, careful with that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, you said some, some, you said, uh, if you ask for Instagram and some jobs, you get fired. Depends on the store. Well, that's the thing. You gotta, you gotta figure out your, your situation. You feel what I'm saying? Johnny said, how do you over, overcome reputation of being a cheapskate? Some chicks don't want to deal with me because other chicks are telling them I'm, a, I'm cheap because I'm not down to be tricking. <laughs> Dude, open up your circle. How, how are chicks telling other chicks you cheap? Like, you, you, you hollering at the same chicks in, in, in the same uh, block or something? Like, how do these chicks know each other? And And the thing is, when you... When you set up a date or when you set up times to meet up with chicks and do shit, you got to set up um, how you want it to be set up so you don't spend a lot of money. So if you if you're if you want to be cheap, which I suggest, know where to go so you can be cheap. And then so that when you out there, you understand it's not really um, a, a big thing. See, if you make it a, a issue, if you if you bring attention to it, that's what makes it a big a big deal. Female pimp, what's your Instagram? Everybody wants to know your Instagram, so they could so they could see what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? Also, oh, now now y'all don't want to call up now after I was <laughs> calling in while I was on the phone with seventy plus dude. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one is the number. Man. You said, how do you go about a girl blocking and I'm blocking you after a couple of days? And then she get mad when I didn't hit her up. Man, don't waste time with all that bullshit. You keep that shit pushing. You said, how do you feel about chicks using kids as their... 
kid the kids pics as wallpapers on their phones. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know, man. I don't really, you know. I don't like when chicks put kids on their online dating profile. That shit is annoying. I'd be like, come on, man. Man. Crazy. You said there's too many guys trying to get females online. See, if you know how to get chicks online, that shit, that shit could be like, like, you wouldn't even have to go out and holler at chicks for a while. If you, if you really can get a lot of chicks online, dude. You said, do I condone online dating? Yes, I do. There's times where I remember I almost had a perfect week. Now, if, if any of you guys watch How I Met Your Mother, you know what a perfect week is. How many of y'all watch, watch How I Met Your Mother, that show? It's not, it's not on anymore, but they, they used to show that show, How I Met Your Mother, and there's a, a character on there named Barney Stinson. And he was like this dude that was, you know, on some player shit. He used to fuck a lot of chicks or whatever. And so there was a, a, a episode where he was talking about having a perfect week. And so the perfect week is when you fuck a different girl every day for a week. You understand what I'm saying? And so I remember I almost had a perfect week. Um, but I, I, I almost had seven girls, seven different girls, seven days in a row. But on the, I think it was the sixth day, um, what happened was I had smashed... The same girl I smashed on, I think, like, the first day. And then on the seventh day, I had a new chick. So the sixth day fucked up the, the, the rotation, the situation. But, yeah, the thing is, is that, you know, if you know how to... And, and most of those... And, and I think all of those girls I got online, on the online dating site. Oh, we got birth name trolling. Talking about smash seven dudes in a week. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you know how to really go in online, my nigga. It yo, you it it got to the point. I remember there was man, there was times where this shit got overwhelming where I had to I was like, yo, I gotta take a break. And see, that's the thing. I want see, I want you guys to get to the point where you you have so many chicks trying to holler at you. That you need to be like, I got to take a break today. I got to take a break for a few days because y'all motherfuckers is, 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 is too much of y'all. You said a break for what, Johnny West? <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this is how you know when you've had so much chicks trying to fuck with you. When you're like, yo, I got to take a fucking break. Because I've been fucking too much. You understand what I'm saying? Every dude who's had a, a, a good amount of chicks knows what I'm talking about right now. And I'm talking about a good amount of chicks who all at the same time trying to get at you. Like I remember, I think at one point, at one point I was like, I had like maybe like 12 to about 13 girls at once trying to trying to you know see me and i'm like yo i just, i can't do it at this i you know what i'm saying <laughs> like it ain't gonna it, it ain't i gotta calm that down a little bit we can't gonna use a break for what <laughs> nah it's crazy man but this is why i tell you guys go to badboymembership.com so you can listen to the easy way to date online for men. I break down how to do the dating stuff. I'm actually, I'm going to have to do an update to that. Because on that one, I was just talking about like, okay, Cupid, plenty of fish, stuff like that. But the, 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 the principles of even, you can use to Tinder and all these other stuff. is still sort of the same, but I'm, I'm probably going to do a little update. Johnny, because you said I'm just showing off now. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Shout out to Dorian Thomas. What's popping, bro? Yeah, it, I'm telling you. When you get to that point where you're, you're fucking with so many chicks, the shit can get overwhelming. You understand? You're just like, God damn. 
Like, I, I think the more of a savage you are, the the easier it is to fuck with a, a bunch of chicks. Like, if you have a kind heart like me, <laughs> it's hard to fuck with a bunch of chicks, I'm telling you, because you be trying to give them all time and shit and, you know what I'm saying, trying to trying to be all fair, giving them equal amount of dick. You feel what I'm saying? But if you're a savage, you don't give a fuck. You're just like, yo, whatever. You said I got more in that one week than you had in six years? Man. That's so why I tell you guys, man, you got it. Yo, when you get up on this game and you actually go in. Because cause let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something, man. So, I'm not going to give you away the the... the, the the, the too much because you got to get in a bad boy membership to understand how this works but you know when I was getting these chicks online I was spending a significant amount of time setting a lot of shit up and then when I got them offline to actually meet me there were certain things that I set up in order to be able to uh, smash that night you feel what I'm saying? So is is different is different types of things that you that you can do, but just understand that it's work. Just understand that it's work. That's all, that's all I wanted you to guys to understand. Understand that being able to have a rotation of chicks and having chicks a lot of chicks fuck with you is work because all it is is really setting it up. You you have to set it up. You have to get to the point where, because this is the thing, when you guys are out talking, let's say you got no girls right now, you're not talking to any chicks, right? You're not having sex with no girls, whatever, right? You got to get that first one. And when you get that first one, you got you can't get all, you can't relax, you got to go get the second one. You feel what I'm saying? And then when you get the second one, you still can't relax, you got to get the third one. And now by the time you got the third one, the fourth, the first one probably fell off and she ain't calling you no more. So now you, you thought you had three, now you got two. You feel what I'm saying? So now you got to get a third one. So now you got three in your rotation. Then you get a fourth one, now the other one fell off. Now you thought you had four, now you got three. You see what I'm saying? So you got to just keep that shit up. You feel what I'm saying? So you, Jermaine Jones, you say, so your photo got to be perfect looking? Now your photo don't have to be perfect looking, but... You got to have, I always say, you, you, the best course of action is professional photos. Feel what I'm saying? Professional photos. And make them photos look good. Let me, let me, let me bring up my Tinder photos again real quick so I can show you guys on the screen. Hold on. Where's my, where's my Tinder joints? Let me go, let me go into my Tinder. Because I, show, I, showed, I showed you guys some of this before. You feel what I'm saying? I think y'all, I think y'all have seen these before. So that's my, that's the first photo. That's the the first one right there. And and you know, they were saying that they say that. I mean, I don't know how 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 true this is, but they say that when you're looking away, it's more enticing for the chick or some shit. I you know I, I got to do more research on that. You understand what I'm saying? But um, how do I go to the next one? So that's the next photo. Me with the little suit on. But but all of these are professional. I have one photo on here that's not professional. I'll show you in a minute. Another professional photo. That's the third photo. You see what I'm saying? Now, what I want to point out is... The photos look like... Cooler versions of me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't look like it's not me. It looks like me, but it looks cooler. It looks like some shit you see in a magazine. You feel what I'm saying? Well, this next photo is from the um, the Bad Boy Seminar. You feel what I'm saying? So you can check that out right there. So it shows me doing some shit. So it's always good to have photos of you actually doing shit. You understand what I'm saying? That shows off a little bit of your personality. Now, this photo actually I took in the, in the gym. Now, this is not a professional photo. But the reason why I put this up was because, like, I took it and I was like, okay, my, my, I look pretty good in this photo. You feel what I'm saying? 
So I was like, you know, this 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 is pretty good, so I could keep this shit popping. And now this is the last professional photo on there. You see what I'm saying? So notice how most of the 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 the, the fucking photos look crisp. You see what I'm saying? Like it looks like some crisp type shit. It looks like the best that I could possibly look to an extent. You see what I'm saying? And that's what you want to get. So when you're taking these photos, does the, ask yourself, does the photo look the best it could possibly look? You see what I'm saying? And my dude, my dude, uh, Miles Cunningham took the photos. So if you, if you want to get some professional ones, uh, hit up my dude Miles at pavionphoto.com. You feel what I'm saying? Hit up my dude Pavion at pavionphoto.com. Pure Gosa, you said, am, are, am I a PUA? No, I'm not a PUA. You feel what I'm saying? Humble if you said Tinder makes you rusty is way too easy for you. <laughs> oh, man. It, it gets that way sometimes. That's the thing. See, the thing is, with, with you know, Tinder and online dating is really good if you're a busy dude. You understand? I'm busy as fuck, so that shit, it, it works for me. Pure goes, you said, am I a MGTOW? Hell no. E Breezy B said, how the fuck do you get a threesome popping though? Go to MrLocario.com, get my DVD, The Bad Boy's Guide to Dating, because I have a bonus audio program called Step Up Your Step Up Your Game. And in that I have a whole audio that teaches you how to get threesomes. You feel what I'm saying? Man. You said what kind of camera Miles got? Shit, what kind of camera? Miles got a bunch of cameras. He, I can't even tell you. He'd have to tell you. But he got the ones that take that professional looking shit. You feel what I'm saying? Pure Gosa, you said. Am I? You said. Am I still paying these women? Which women? Who? Which women am I, am I paying? What are you talking about? Man, what y'all saying up in there? He said, I have ever thought about doing a collab with Philip Gilmore, a.k.a. Sinful the P. Uh, I, never, I don't know. I never heard of him. I got to check his stuff out. He said, when's the last time I got rejected? He said, you think it would be more motivational if we knew you took L's too? Um, what was it? I got, the last time I got rejected was, what? Probably like last week or some shit. He said, why do females stare at you and as soon as you look up, they look away like they're not interested? Sometimes they're nervous. That's why they look away. He said, would flying to the U.S. be considered doing too much to pull a chick? Because I don't think these American chicks are willing to fly, fly overseas to meet me. Where were you at, Johnny Quest? Man. Jermaine, do you say why don't I have super chat? I don't know. Something's wrong with my uh my account or something. Like something happened years ago where uh something went down so I can't I can't even monetize none of my shit. Like I don't I lit I don't make any money off YouTube. 
Like, like directly on YouTube. I don't make no money on YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? I don't make no paper on YouTube. Female pimp, what is your what is your um your your Instagram page? Your pure pure ghosty, you be asking some funny ass questions. Poti said, "How do you decide whether you're just gonna you're just gonna smash a chick or you're going gonna go on a first date to see what she's about?" Um, usually, usually I don't. What is it? Like usually I don't smash a chick until I went on a date with her. That's just me. Like I used to go straight to a girl's house. I don't do that shit no more. Like I like to feel a chick out before I smash because, you know. Some of these chicks is fucking crazy, and I've been in some situations where uh, I wish I would have felt her out before I smashed. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Crazy. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, birth name, you trolling like crazy, bro. I'm have to I have to remove you in a second. Hold on, let me see what this is. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hey, Mr. Carter. What's Rob, popping? So the California again. What's going on, bro? Yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. You know, I was just thinking about, so, like, what we talked about last night, the last time about, uh, you know, the law averages, and, you know, those people were saying I was trolling. Oh, but, so you, um, so you, you, you was talking about how you, um, you hollered at, uh, a thousand chicks, is that, is that you talking about? Yeah, actually, I, I should have told you, or, got to say that, um, I did get a lot of numbers, mm -hmm. and I did get some dates, but I still... Didn't get any like lays, uh -huh. yeah, until I met this one girl. Right. Does that still add up or? Well, yeah. Or well, the thing ours? is, if you the thing is, if you got the numbers and you went on dates, but you didn't have sex, that all that means is is that you because look because and this is what I'm saying like you talking to all those girls, you got some numbers, you said you went on some dates, so that that still counts. The right. you not having sex with them though. Um, basically means that you, you, you weren't doing enough in this, in this, or you weren't doing what you should have been doing in the interactions to lead to sex. You see what I'm saying? And this is why each stage of the interactions you're having with women is important because it's important to be able to go and approach them, important to be able to exchange those numbers, important to get them to come out and see you again, and then important to actually know how to get from that to actually having sex. You see what I'm saying? So, so that's the thing where if you... If you're able to get a girl's information and, and actually go on a date with them or actually see them again or whatever, you gotta you gotta know how to make the sex happen. You see what I'm saying? And because because you don't want to have to go through, oh, I got a number, set up this and this and that, sorry again, and then you know, ain't no sex popping off. It's just like you understand? It's like kind of like a waste. So not every not every girl you get her number, you're gonna have sex with her. But the thing is, is that you want it to happen more often than not. And if it's and if it's happening right. to where you're getting the, the numbers, getting dates, but no sex is going on, there's something you're doing in the situation that that's that's uh, not working. So what 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 happened when you got the numbers, like, or, or what happened when you went on the dates with these chicks? Like, well, sometimes I get uh, makeouts, mm. and even oh yeah, I've almost got to mention that. Like even sometimes, like at the club, mm. I get makeouts too. But then I don't know, they just. You know, they, they say, like, you know, you're a good guy, but, you know, I didn't really feel like we had this connection, mm. or I would just, you know, never hear from them again. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, and so, when you're, when you're making out with the chick, like, how long are you making out with the chick? Depends, like, 
times for like a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And there was one chick, like what I did for like a half hour, mm -hmm. or I can't remember, but. Right, right. And, and so, yeah. and so these, and so, because the thing is this, is that when a girl, if a girl, if a girl is, um, you know, kissing you and doing all that other shit, right? That's already a good indicator that she may have sex with you. I'm not saying she will. She may because she's she's already being physical with you. So a lot of times what you need to do is you need to be the one to escalate it because a lot of times, because some, some girls, they'll sit there and they'll just kiss you all day and then, you know, because you're not making the move, she gets out of the mood and doesn't want to do it anymore. You see what I'm saying? So you have to be the one to make the move to go from, okay, we kissing, like you say, you, let's say you was kissing a girl for maybe like five minutes or whatever, and you at the club or you at some other spot or whatever, you'd be like, yo, let's get out of here, let's go back to my spot. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I try that a lot, but a lot of times I'll say, I, I can't go home with you, or mm -hmm. I don't want to, like, I don't, I don't have my own place, so I try to, like, you know, go to their place, but most of the time they'd be like, oh, we can't because, you know, mm -hmm. like, not allowed to, according to, like, the landlord or... <laughs> right, right, and, there, and, do you, and do you have either a friend you can go to their place, or can you go to a hotel? No. <laughs> So you, don't, so you don't have no friend you could go to their place? No. And you don't have no hotels around that you know of that you could go to? Um, maybe, but... See, that's the stuff you got to think about. That's the stuff, that's the logistics. You got to get the logistics down. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to know, okay, well, I don't got, I can't take it back to my place. Um, you got to figure out if you can go back to her place. If not, then you got to find like a hotel spot. And then you gotta, and then you gotta also coordinate, like, okay, who you know, who's paying for shit? You feel what I'm saying? So, it is, so all of this stuff matters when you're dealing with these chicks because then you get, because see, the, the the part that sucks is that you get to the point where things could go to ha could happen, and then it doesn't happen just because your logistics are fucked up. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So you got to make sure that you under. So like, let's say you at a at a a a, 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 a bar or something, and you know. There's a hotel, you know, uh, 10 minutes down the road or some shit. So you first try to get the girl to bring you back to her spot. If that can't mm -hmm. work, then you say, yo, there's a spot down, down the road. Let's do this. You feel what I'm saying? So you just got to definitely make sure that you get the logistics right. And also, even before that, you got to make sure that you're the one uh, moving the interaction forward. You understand? So like, even, like you said, you was making out with some chick for a half an hour. You shouldn't be making out with her for that long. You need to move that shit along. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's how you gotta sure. that's how you gotta get it, man. But yo, listen, I'm a, I gotta holler at you later because I got a few more calls before I get out of here. All right. All right. All right, bro. Thanks for the car, yo. All right, no problem. All right, let me try to get this right. call. You, what's going on? Who's this? Oh, now he fucking hung up. Shit. Yo, you 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 on there? Hello. Yo, yo. See, niggas be calling in, doing that bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. Dudes is funny. Dudes calling in fucking doing goofy shit. Yo, what's going on? Hey, Lucario, this is 70 Plus. I just wanted to call mm -hmm. right back in and say one more thing, man. Right, yeah, do your thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go in. I just want to know, why is dude still talking about taking women out to restaurants, man? I thought y'all was over there like a few episodes ago that Lucario gave y'all, oh. man. Didn't him and Steve and somebody else tell y'all to take them to a park? Why y'all, what, what is this, Meals on Wheels or something? Go I don't know. Dot com or something like that, man. Like, why are y'all so interested in feeding grown women? Like, do you honestly think? Feeding people food makes them like you or something. Like, that's something I've been trying to, like, figure out for the longest, man. Mm. If, a, if a chick tell you something about taking her out, say, yeah, we can go outside on the steps. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> the park or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to take people out at restaurants. Right. Like, he wasted all that time, all that money, all mm. that energy. Like, just be real with him. Tell him what it is that you're trying to do. 
And if you're going to reward a woman with a meal or something, reward them after they have done something that you wanted them to do. Right. They wasn't talking back. They wasn't acting stupid. They didn't ask you for shit. They already at least fucked you. Because me personally, if I ain't at least fucked her, I mean, much less sitting at a dinner table. Yo, you're not getting shit from me. Mm, facts. <laughs> Definitely not. No, dinner. my dinner table is for the women that belong to me or the women that that's cooperating doing what I ask. And then every now and then I may... I may treat you to a meal. Like when I was over there in Jamaica, they didn't ask me for nothing. They they smashed, did everything I asked. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm I'm already drinking on a drink. You was cool. You didn't ask me for nothing. Hey, you want something to drink? It's on me. That's how it's going. That's how I need to go if you're going to do something for them. Like stop meeting women with your wallet in your hand, basically in a nutshell. Like, right. hey, you know, we just met. I'm going to buy you a meal. I hope you like me. Buying mm-hmm. people meals does not make them like you. It just makes them fool. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to say that because I get tired of dudes talking about buying food. Right, Wrong right, women. right. Real <laughs> shit. <laughs> Real shit, man. That's what's up, man. All right, bro. I'm you, man. All right, man. Right, peace. Now, nah, real shit. Well, dude, dudes be going on, you know, these fucking meal dates. Because, again, cats be thinking they got to do extra shit to get women. You don't need to do that shit, man. You do not need to do that shit. That's what cats don't understand. But yeah, man. Yeah, what time is it? I gotta... Shit. I got to head out, people. All right, listen. Y'all, I appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm gonna try to do another one. What's today? Today's Sunday. I'm gonna try to do another one maybe Thursday. Well, Wednesday or Thursday, but definitely Friday. You know it's always gonna be on Fridays. Um... But yeah, I appreciate everybody tuning in. You feel me? Um, let me shout out to all the people in the chat. Shout out to my dude, Jermaine Jones, Dorian Thomas, Carlos, Cam Mims, Humble Wolf. Humble Wolf, that was uh that was uh this cat that that's called 70 plus dude. That was that was who was speaking. Shout out to 70 plus dude. Shout out to Johnny Quest, moving in silence. Shout out to you, E-B- EBZ, EBZB, that's the name. Shout out to you, Poti Robinson, shout out to you, Cristiano, Mestibo, McCann Cornell, Enemies Defeated, shout out to you. We got a lot of people over here today. Lance Rivera, Night Zoom Flight, Curve D, pause, uh, Johnny Quest, Dre, who else? Six and Takim. Who else? Audley Menzi. Man, there's a lot of y'all up in here, but you know, shout out to all you guys. Um, I will see you guys either Wednesday or definitely Friday. A shout out to my dude Sean Steed. My bad, I didn't even see you there. New Orleans, shout out to you. And I will holler at you guys later. And remember, get your copy of How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Go to MrLocario.com. Get the ebook, hard copy, or audio book. If you get the hard copy, I'm going to autograph it for you. And I will send it to you guys. Um, also, make sure you guys go to BadBoyMembership.com where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Also, make sure you guys go to... Um, Go to patreon.com slash Mr. Locario so you get all the bad boy uh, show episodes. And uh, EBZB, yeah, this is, I got more hard copies. I got a few more of these left, so make sure you guys get some of them. I got to order some more. But um, but definitely get your copy today. And I'm I'm working on uh, two other books. That's going to be coming out soon. So I'm working on those now. Hopefully I have those done by the end of the year. If not by the end of the year, it's going to be early 2019. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to come out with some other other hot shit. And make sure you guys also um, uh, subscribe to my motivation channel. Go to LocarioMotivation.com. I'm going to start putting up more uh, videos on that. Because on that channel, what I do is I'm going to be talking about you know uh, life success goals happiness um how to you know get your money up all this other stuff on there you feel what i'm saying 
Humble Wolf, you're gonna, yeah, next time call in, bro. You gotta call in and shit. You feel what I'm saying? And um, and next time, fem- female pimp, give people your your Instagram out. Stop playing. You feel what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, you guys have a good night. I will holler at you guys later. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.